guys, Nerf has 16 Retro Kid on YouTube, and before I do my powers review, I just want to say happy birthday to the original, um, uh, Zero, Zero Ranger, Red Ranger, who also, weirdly enough, ended up being Kamara J. Oh, crap. Oh, since we are talking about a superhero cop show, I knew this was going to happen. Turn your camera off. Uh, yeah, be back in a minute. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And back in action! Uh, So, why the hell... Wait, did OCB uh, charge you to do this? No. Someone from your New York district. Like, we have a New York district? Yeah, it was me! We finally... I finally have backup. Are you doing this just to prove something? Yeah! I ordered him not to make you do any spoilers. Good. I didn't really want to. It was the first episode anyway. Wait, seriously? Damn right. Oh, you can keep that thing on me all day, girl. Okay, put it over there. Doesn't this so set? Like I care. Hmm. I like your style. Huh. I got on a RoboCop good side. Anyway, as you all know, this is pretty much a very quick review because I guess now I'm ordered not to do spoilers if I choose not to, instead of just you know not saying I don't wanna. Um, yeah, this is gonna be basically spoiler-free for two reasons. One, I don't know everything when it is to come when it come. Sorry, everything when it comes to the Powers comic. Um, and I am a couple of episodes ahead compared to everyone who's watching the first episode, so I may be spoiling later plot lines. So I'll just keep it very brief. Um, yeah, there we go. Powers is a show based around um, the concept of pretty much if superheroes were celebrities, in, at least in L.A.'s district case. Uh, the Powers Division is pretty much a very low-rent um, super squad of well, regular cops just trying to police everybody with a power, both villain or hero, because if anyone who remembers the Marvel Civil War, uh, long story short, their Powers Registration Act actually went into effect, and it sort of looks like it's okay-ish, um, only the real deal... I guess villains are are the only ones that are against the freedom uh, that this law is destroying. Um, Seto Kople, like I said in my Toku Toku news, um, plays a, a former hero turned cop, uh, Walker, as evidenced by this poster. Um, right here. Um, to pretty much br uh, bury the line between what a hero can do and what um, cops should be looking into if uh, they find themselves in a villain territory because since he's been a former hero he can give them a lot of input on what can and what they can't do like um i think early on in the pilot um him and his new partner um went to like a local um street area where a bunch of powers kids yeah this was basically they're calling the heroes around here just powers kind of like a mutant kind of thing like x-men uh they're just showing the kids he's showing his partner the kids like if you basically get out of line with these guys some of them may shoot a fireball out of nowhere out of their chest. So basically, if you piss them off here, they could get really pissy. Not pissy. Um, like, they can set off their powers really quick um, for those who have good powers. Um, for those that have low, low powers, I like to call them wannabes. Um, one of them is um, a character, of, I think a major character in the book. Again, I don't know all the details. Um, I guess my best assumption is she's trying to be, like, a little bit like, um, Hayden Panettiere's character back when Heroes was good. Um, like, try to figure out her power, try to figure out what her responsibilities are whenever she gets it later on this season, which, eventually, it might happen. If it does in the book, please let me know in the comments down below for people who read it. And, um... For Eddie Izzard's character, who's gonna play a bigger role, again, no spoilers, because stuff hasn't really set up yet. This is what happens when you review a TV season instead of a TV episode. Um, mainly because uh, all you get in uh, this episode is that he's just basically taunting uh, Walker. What's it feel like to be powerless? What's it feel like to be just a normal guy? Where in uh, Coppola's character's case, he used to be a flyer. He used to fly around. He used to just get the handle... When he lost his powers, he finally got to handle how to, like, 
manages speed, manages flight distance, and all that stuff. And, um... Yeah, that's about it. Um, I recommend the show if you have PlayStation Plus. Um, because if you have PlayStation Plus, you get the whole season. Um, not just the three episodes as time goes on. Um, the, I'm gonna leave a link down below for the first episode on PlayStation's channel. And, um, till then, that's about it. So, are we done here? We didn't talk about one character. What? One that you may have stolen your name. Who the hell charged me on that? Shh. Me. Oh, come on, Mr. Sophie. Ow! Your face plays better than mine. You're damn right, knockoff kid. Talk about that real quick. Alright, there's also another major hero calling herself, um, Retro Girl. To make a long story short, I did not come up with my name, my username, Retro Kid, because I like the book. No, this is pure coincidence. I never read the book. I never... I've heard rumor... Rumors of this becoming a television show. I never heard of this character up until this television show was coming out. No more, no less. Now, can we go now? Fine. Can I kick his ass? No. He's protected. By what? A giant or shadowy organization? I'm sorry, I thought I'd do that for a living. I'm a common writer. Point, but not today. Am I off, am I off duty or a raster or whatever the hell it is you do? You're up. Oh, see? Justice works. Well, Toga justice at least. All right, well, I'm out of here for now, and uh, that's my brief thoughts on uh, Powers. It's a really good show if you got PlayStation. If you don't have it, um, don't just look for it on YouTube's uh, uh, PlayStation channel. If it interests you to get a play PlayStation account plus or just anything in general, don't be surprised when they do a bunch of Sony product placements since this is semi-Sony product, despite it not really. I don't know. It's worth the watch, trust me. So with all that said, I'm Nervous 16 Richard Kid here on YouTube, and do you guys have anything to say? Well, since I'm still here, knock off. I didn't come up with a name because I like Retro Girl. I just, it's, seriously, it's pure coincidence. I am the destroyer of worlds decayed, and now savior of this freaking channel. You? I'm Warble Cobb. My prop directors were done. Oh, well that's good. Wait, who programmed you anyway if it wasn't me or well, him, mostly? Uh, three. Oh, damn it, him again. I'll see him in the freaking race. To the movie exclusive writer and that fourth guy. Later. Shh. Yeah, uh, and I'll probably have more details on GP as time goes on for the next news video. Take care, guys. Have a good weekend. No, you're not arresting people. Dermot.